Hello, all my friends. My name is Coach Rio Sakin, and I am going to be your PE teacher for the day. I am super pumped you are here joining me for another day. If you're brand new, welcome. You don't need any equipment, um, just a little space in your apartment or your house, and we're ready to go. All right, let's do this. We're gonna start off with jumping jacks, okay? Let's go. Keep going. Now, I don't know if you noticed, but I am wearing a shirt from the New Orleans Fire Department. Here, I'm gonna, just, can you see the back? Let's see, can you see the back? Uh-huh. So, I was in New Orleans not too long ago, and a friend of mine is a firefighter for New Orleans, for the New Orleans Fire Department, and I just wanted to give him a shout out because I know he's working real hard to keep all the people in New Orleans safe during this time. And if you know a firefighter or a police man or a police woman, and you wanna give a shout out to them, please do it, because they're so deserving. All right, good jumping jacks. And now, I want you to get your imaginary jump rope, or if you have a real jump rope, grab a real jump rope. Um, I'm gonna use my imaginary jump ropes, and let's do it. Good jump ropes, come on. You got this. Now, if you are a really good jump roper, like me, <laughs> with my imaginary jump rope, you can go double time, right? Double time, pop up, right? Boom, boom, right? Boom, boom, that's it. So you jump higher, boom, boom. Can you do that? Very good. Keep it going. We're still doing our jump rope. So good, right? So good on the jump rope. Excellent. Okay, we're still doing it because we're getting our heart rate up. We're moving our body, we're warming up our muscles. Okay, now I'm gonna break. You do not have to stop. You can still do the jump ropes. I'm gonna do some jogging in place. If you have a jump rope, you can put it down or you can come join me on my jog. All right, so I know a lot of times I prefer to jog on the beach, on the sand, because it's so soft on my ankles and my knees, and as I get older, it feels so good on my joints. But I haven't been to the beach in a while, which is kind of breaking my heart, because I love the beach. It's like my home away from home. But I don't live, I don't live that far from the beach, to be honest. But I don't live that close either. So I'm jogging to the beach, or I'm pretending I'm jogging at the beach, and I'm feeling so good. If you want to jog faster, that's totally fine too. Jog faster, yeah, jog faster. Oh, so move those legs, those knees. All right, so yesterday, if you were here yesterday, we did quick feet, really, Important if you're ever going to play flag football or football, or if you want to be a super good dancer, because you got to have quick feet, because you got to move around, right? So, quick feet. The idea is body low, bottom low, hands up, focus, moving your feet, right? So you can hear the pitter pat. That's it, right there. Boom, 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 boom. Keep going, keep going. Come on, don't stop, don't stop. That's it, faster, faster. Excellent job, my friends. How's your heart feel? Heart's ready, racing, good. Okay, so again, we're gonna do some shuffle. We're gonna do some shuffle, right? So from here, shuffle, 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 shuffle. And if you wanna go further down, if you have more space in your area, you can shuffle all the way down, right? I don't, I really don't have that much space, so you're just gonna kinda see me in here, right? Shuffle, 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 excellent, okay. Keep, you can keep doing the shuffles, good. Now we're gonna go side to side jumps. So I'm gonna pretend that there's a line right in the middle, and I'm gonna go over the line, right? I'm jumping over the line. This is really good for your knees, and it strengthens, okay, the outside of your knees, right? Your different muscles that make you, and help you to run faster, and to make those cuts while you're running, or jogging, 
or dancing or doing gymnastics or anything active in your life, right? Or particularly skiing is a good one too, right? Even golf, that's it. Tennis for sure. That's right, whoever said tennis, that's totally incorrect. Good, okay, so I'm going side to side jumps. And now we're gonna go front and back, front and back, okay? So front and back jump, so front, back, front, back, front, back, front, back, front, back. Okay, you go faster than me, right? And if you need to take a break, obviously take a break. Right? Come on, keep going, good jumps, front and back, front and back. You got it, yes. Front and back, awesome, okay. I know we're not taking a lot of breaks, you wanna know why? Because we're getting to um, karaoke. And I'm hoping you guys have figured this one out because it's kind of challenging. But if you can see my feet, karaoke, right? Come on, karaoke, get lower. Get lower, karaoke. Legs over, right? And if you keep doing it, keep doing it. If you're new, if this is your first time watching us, karaoke, back, out, over, back, over, out, back, out, okay? So we're cro crossing over, all right? Again, we do this a lot in flag football, tackle football, baseball, even basketball, okay? So that was karaoke. Now, it is time for us to work our upper body and get strong. So we're gonna go right to the floor. If you have a mat or a towel, you can certainly use that mat or a towel or if you have carpet in your house, I do not have any carpet. So I have this little mat that I'm using. We're gonna do some push-ups, okay? So when we do push-ups, okay, when we do push-ups, we're gonna go from here into the push-up position. We're gonna hold it and we're gonna go down and up, okay? So let's do this 10 times, right? Good form, good form, keep going. Yes, that's two. Three, four, five, six, seven, eight, you got it, nine, and ten. Oh, so good, right? Does it feel good on your, on your upper body? Because you're getting your muscles super, super strong. Okay, so we're going to shake it out. We didn't really warm up our wrists. Um, but if you need to do some stretches with your wrist, you can do that. Okay, but most of you are probably pretty young. Big shout out to second grade, because I know we have a lot of second graders watching this video. I'm super pumped to have you, by the way. Thank you. All right, so we're gonna go back to push-ups. Ready? Let's go down and up, ready? So we're gonna go down and up, down and up, down and up. What is that, like two or three? Let's go four, five, good. Six, seven, eight, you got it. Oh yes, nine, feels so good. And 10, hold it, hold it, yes. Whew, I love it. Okay, fantastic. Okay, so we're gonna do um, shoulder tap push-ups or shoulder tap planks. Um, so watch, so we're gonna hold it in this push-up plank position and we're gonna alternate our arm, touching our shoulders, right? And if you can, keep your midsection straight. So tapping my shoulder, tap, 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 tap. Working on that balance, right? Okay, so let's do this. Let's go 10 times. Yeah, I think you can handle it. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, and ten. So good, yes. Okay, and now what we're gonna do is we're gonna go back into a regular plank, okay? So we'll go on our elbows, and we're gonna do some leg lifts on the, in that position, okay? So our elbows are down now. Good, can you see me? Oh, I can see you. Boy, you guys look cool. All right, ready? So I'm gonna lay, I'm gonna hold it, but I'm gonna lift that rear foot back, okay? So I want you to lift one foot up. Five, four, 
three, two, and one. Go down. We're now gonna lift the other leg up. Five, four, three, two, one. Good job. Take a break, shake it out. If you still wanna hold the plank, do it, because you're super strong. If you need the break, do what I'm doing. Just take a nice little break. It's only a couple seconds. And now we're gonna go back into the plank position, right? And we're gonna do a leg lift again. We're gonna lift that leg up. So five, four, three, two, one. Good. Let's do the other leg. Five, four, three, two, and one. Go back into the regular plank and let's go back and forth on our feet, on our toes. Back and forth. Good job, everybody. Five, four, three, two, and one. Knees in. Excellent job. How'd that feel? Feel good? Okay. I like it. So now we're going to go back into the plank and we can do regular. We can do regular plank, but if you want to add the leg lifts, you can certainly do that, okay? So I'm going to hold this plank position. Okay, so we're just going to hold it out. Put, pull your tummy in. Stomach muscles in. Hold it in. Oh, yes. Woo-wee. Feels good, right? Hold it. Let's go. Five, four, three, two, and one. And bring your knees in. Excellent job on the plank. You feel your core, you feel this whole little section. Well, guess what? We're not even done yet. Now, I use a pillow because it's helpful on my back, okay? And um, my tailbone. You guys, most of you are younger, so you should be okay. But I'm gonna grab a pillow because when I do my bicycle kicks, it helps me. Plus, it also keeps my, um, my legs off the ground even, for even more which puts a little bit more pressure on my tummy so that I can use my stomach muscles a little bit more. So we're gonna do bicycle kicks. So from here, you can have your arms out behind your head and we're gonna ride our bikes, okay? So tuck your, your tummy in. We're using our stomach muscles, right? So we're just riding our bike. Now, if you're learning how to ride a bike, this is actually a good motion for you, right? Just a good motion, moving those legs. You wanna see what it looks like from the side? That's what it looks like from the side, right? Whew. Riding a bike, riding a bike. Excellent, I'm gonna turn and face you because I like it. All right, let's do this a little bit more. So let's go five, four, three, two, and one. Wow, I, do you feel it in your tummy? I so feel it in my stomach. Really good, everybody. Okay, so let's take a little bit of a break. Shake it out. You wanna do your wrists again? You wanna you wanna stretch your wrists? This is so good for you, right? So you bring your wrists back. Okay. Let's go back into bicycle. Hands up. And let's take a nice little bike ride. By the way, has anybody ever mountain biked before? I haven't done that since I was probably a little older than you guys. That would sound sounds like fun now, right? I just gotta, we just need to find a bike in a mountain. All right, good bicycle kicks. One, two, three, four, and five. Hold it, yes. Excellent job, my friends. Let's take a little bit of a break. While we're breaking, I'm gonna talk because I love talking to you. You might, you can still do your um, wrist, wrist stretches because it's so good for you, right? Especially if you're on the computer a lot, right? And writing and typing, so good to move your fingertips. So good to move your wrists. Finger them out, finger them out, finger them out, yes. Excellent job, okay? So now, we're gonna do bicycle kicks, and we're gonna go from side to side, side to side, side to side, okay? So let's go 10, nine, eight, seven, six, five, four, three, two, and one. Fantastico, everybody. All right, so now we're gonna go to our crunches, okay? Let's do crunches. That's a, a really good exercise to, again, to build our tummy muscles. So we're gonna go flat on the floor, 
Again, if you have a carpet, that's also super cool. Or a towel, or any kind of a mat will do. And we're gonna do our crunches, okay? Come on, let's do it, let's do it together. All right, pull up. All right, ready? Come on, come all the way up. Your legs are in what, what formation is this? That's right, a 90 degree angle. L, tabletop, good. Okay, chin up, come on, all the way up to the ceiling. Bring the chin up to the ceiling, using your stomach to pull you. Good, keep going. Let's go 10, nine, come on, count with me. Uh, eight, seven, six, five, four, three, two, and one. Hold it up, yes. Oh, you guys are so good. That was awesome on the crunches. Really, really good, okay. So now we're gonna pop back up, even though we could do so many more exercises on the floor, we're gonna pop back up and we're gonna do some stretches. So even though this is like a combination stretch, um, we're also using our core. Wonder Woman, good strong muscle pose, right? Get this little lint off my shirt. And we're gonna go opposite knee to elbow, okay? Let's do this for a couple times while I talk. And again, bringing your knees up high, switching over to the opposite elbow, right? So you're switching it, you're alternating. Very good, very good. Let's go 10, nine, eight, seven, six, five, four, three, two, and one. Excellent job. Let's do a little side stretch. So hold it out. I want you to bend one leg. Straighten out the other, and you're gonna go into a deep stretch. So hold it down, you're gonna feel it on the inner part of your leg, and then the top part of the bent leg. And hold it down. Look at me, good, good form. If you, if you turn your body just slightly, you're gonna feel it even more on the inner leg, and on the top part of this one, which is the quadricep right here. Okay, let's hold it down. Let's go five, four, three, two, and one. We're gonna flip side, same thing. Bend that other knee, lock out that other leg, and let's hold it down. Excellent, everybody. Hold it, hold it. Beautiful job, my friends. Hold it, oh yes. Hold it. That's it. Hold it, five, four, three, two, one. Come up, excellent. Okay, grab one leg. I love this stretch. I feel so good. Does it feel good for you? Because it's like, not only are we stretching out our legs, we're also using our core to keep our balance. And it's like a multi-purpose stretching activity, right? Now, if you have really good form, it's even harder because you want your tummy in, chest out, and you're grabbing your ankle. See, I'm grabbing my ankle and my toes. So this is also, this is a little bit easier. This makes it a little bit more challenging, okay? So you do it however you feel comfortable, all right? Let's go five, four, three, two, and one. Flip it, my friends. Good. Uh-oh, hold the balance. Woo! Uh -oh. Okay, tummy in, chest out. Grab your toes or your ankle. Hold it. Beautiful job. Five, four, three, two, and one. Excellent job, shake it, shake it out. Feet out wide, I want you just to hang forward. Oh, yes, breathe in through your nose, out through your mouth. Breathe it in. Excellent job, my friends. Hold it out, hold it down. That's it, feet out, excellent. Let's go five, four, three, two, and one. Excellent, let's come on up. Side stretch over, so good, right? Let's go five, four, three, two and one, and by the way, you need to really pull over. If you're not leaning all the way over, then you're not really um, maximizing the stretch. So let's lean, lean, lean more. Five, four, three, two, and one. Good, shake it out. Okay, so yesterday, yesterday, we used a ball. Any kind of ball will do. So we're again, volleyball, practice on your setting. Setting, wasn't that interesting noise? Setting, very good. You can practice catching it and throwing it up, very good. Basketball, we did dribbling with your fingertips, right? Going back and forth. If you have a ball, you can practice going around your hips. 
and then redirect other direction. Practice that, I want you to practice that. And by the way, if you don't have a ball and you just have a sock, you can do it the same way. You can take the sock here and you can bring the sock around, right? Sock can come around. Or you can do a t-shirt, okay? But I want you to work on handing something to your hands in front of you and behind you. So I'm switching, and I'm switching behind my back, okay? So that's the first, that's, that's the exercise I want you to continue doing because it's building off each day. And then the next one, we did this a long time ago. So if you've been with, with me, Coach Rio Saken, for a long time, this, this game's gonna be familiar to you. And remember, don't forget to sign up on our YouTube channel, Coach Rio Saken, and you can have all the videos, all right? So this is called a yardstick. You don't have to have a yardstick. You can grab anything that is kind of long and light, and I want you to practice balancing it on your, fi on your, finger, on your finger, okay? Just like that. It's, it's a lot harder than it looks, especially if you have something smaller. So like a pencil, super hard, but if you can do it, that's incredibly impressive. So again, I want you to work on your balance, just, ooh, just like that, okay? Let me know how that goes later. Again, my name is Coach Rio Saken. Thank you for joining me. Please tell your friends about our videos so that they can work out with us too, okay? Let's get everyone together. Remember to make your bed in the morning, help out your family in any way that you can, and let's just be super appreciative for everything that we have. I will see you all tomorrow, if not the next day. Take care.